science guy. The rainforest of the sea, coral, need your help. Today, you will learn about what is destroying them and what you can do to help them. T minus seven seconds. Reefs, of course. They are living rock that form one of the most diverse ecosystems of the sea. Coral also acts as a buffer against waves and home to thousands of fish and is harvested for commercial use. <laughs> hey, look, it's my good friend Carl the Coral. You're looking awfully pale today. I'm so white because the past couple of years I've been bleached. Coral bleaching? What's that? That's what happens when my good friend Algae leaves. When Rock was young, me and Susie had so much fun. Mr. Coral, that's terrible what happened two years ago. Here comes Mr. Algae right now. Where are you going, Mr. Algae? Well, the gang of high water temperatures, pollution, and sediment has forced me from my home on this coral. I guess I better get going. Everything that's happening to me, is there anything people can do to prevent the loss of coral reefs? Well, you're in luck, Mr. Curl, because our field correspondent, Steve Irwin, is on it right now. Crikey! You know, Bill, there are many ways that we as human beings can contribute to helping save coral reefs. Every year, overharvesting cyanide fishing and overfishing contribute to the loss of coral reefs. One way scientists are helping is through mariculture, which is the growing of coral reefs in captivity in order to satisfy commercial needs. Everyone can help save coral reefs by not polluting the waters. Well, gotta get back to my crocs. See ya. Steve, for those words of wisdom, if you are interested in the preservation of coral reefs, or you simply have any questions, please contact the information at the end of the program. And remember, everyone must work together in order to sustain the rainforest of the sea, coral reefs. Science! Science! Science. Science.